Welcome to our talk on would users accept electrical muscle stimulation controlling their body? The last decade has witnessed tremendous advances in wearable and physiological sensing technology. Not just technology involving the human body as input but also as output using actuation and muscle stimulation. Prototypes using EMS have been proposed for applications such as motor learning, force feedback, conveying object affordances, user authentication. Such technologies effectively allow HCI researchers to complete the loop between physiological input and output. Such interfaces can skip human information processing stages, such as the perceptual level, by directly entering the action stage. We aim at contributing to the user acceptance of different scenarios portraying potential EMS applications. Controllability, this dimension refers to a user's ability of being in control of the situation. Intrusiveness, high intrusiveness is present when a system excessively controls your body part. Parts. At longevity, an EMS interface may stimulate muscles repeatedly. Safety criticality, open versus closed loop, some prototypes have combined muscle reading and muscle writing. Based on the literature, we came up with the following, motor learning. Virtual objects. Media player. Road safety. Which EMS interaction scenarios are accepted by users, and can the findings be related to system properties or dimensions? We evaluated the user acceptance of these scenarios in an online survey using the TEM model with Trust Extension. We provided the description of the four scenarios along with a reference image to aid with the imagination. In total 113 respondents participated in the study. The mean age of the participants was 28.69 years. Our findings suggest that using EMS to enhance a VR experience is aided by a good attitude and intent to use it. Second, we discovered a rejection of the road safety scenario in both quantitative and qualitative outcomes. We discovered that using EMS to accelerate learning was not commonly accepted and was outweighed by the desire to maintain control. We believe that our findings can be used as a guide to create better user experiences for EMS-based systems. Thank you for your attention. For detailed information, please read our paper.